You may never be interested in performing bariatric surgery, but you need to learn from it. Because if you make rounds in the hospital today, the patients with the most obesity are not the ones on the bariatric service. They're elsewhere in the hospital. They're on the gynecology service, the orthopedic service, the pulmonary service. So no matter what you choose to do in your career, you need to understand how to take care of these people because you will be. Now, bariatric surgeons over the past few decades have done a lot to raise the game for all of us in risk reduction. We have to be certified, we're site visited, we have to have certain resources, we have to have certain training, we have to have certain personnel. And in doing so, we dropped the morbidity and mortality of these procedures dramatically. And the point of the panel yesterday was to get across to the non-bariatric surgeons in the audience Come to us. We've learned a lot of tricks along the way to make care of these patients that much better. We want to help you. Maybe there should be a task force at your hospital that has a bariatric surgeon, maybe a nurse, maybe a dietitian who can round on patients with obesity and super obesity and help you manage them. We have to disabuse our hospital personnel from the residents through the people who bring your food up the techs, the nurses, and everybody else to not have weight bias and not to uh, show any emotion that could be negative or perceived as negative by these patients. Many programs, and in our world, it's a must to have sensitivity training for all personnel who work in the hospital so that our patients with a weight problem are not discriminated against, not humiliated.